What's going on, Dominators? Eldar here, and I'm super excited for part three. And the reason is, part three will actually show you how you can generate content that Google freaking loves because this will help you to increase your topical relevancy and your location relevancy. It's two birds in one shot. This is a software that I developed wow, seven years ago almost, and we just added AI to it and all those really freaking cool stuff. So this works. I've been using this for years on top of the hundreds of agencies and business owners that are utilizing this. Super powerful. And if you don't have it, you want to start utilizing this in your business right away. This will change everything the way you approach SEO. So without further ado, let me show you what this will do. This will essentially add an uh, another uh, navigation tab on your website. We call this projects. You can call this uh, uh, work roadmap. You can call this our work. You can call this whatever you like, but it's going to do the same. This will help you to create articles or blog posts that will be saved directly within your website, within your WordPress. And if you don't have WordPress, we do have a workaround. So reach out to support. We'll send you how you go about that. This will save those articles within your WordPress, meaning when Google crawls it, Google will read all the data that we are feeding Google. And what's really cool is that you're, you don't have to invent the wheel and think, oh, what do I need to do? Like, what kind of blog post do I need? No, no, no. We're not going to do that. We don't really need to do much blogging. This will resolve all of the stuff that we're trying to accomplish, our location relevancy and our topical relevancy. This will give us the roadmap that Google needs. Now, let's take a look and see. By the way, this also going to give you an advantage when you are trying to pitch your services to uh, your clients. Because imagine your client goes in here and they see all these amazing projects that you have done across town in their neighborhood. This will increase their trust. This will increase their assurance to do business with you because you have all of those projects that you have done. You can say, hey, I've done a project just in this neighborhood. Let's go to my website and take a look. Really cool. So. When you're creating those projects, and it takes just a few minutes and I'll show you, um, when you're creating all of those projects here, then each of those projects will have a description, they'll have um, you know, like images, and everything is optimized automatically. We will rename your images, we'll create the alt tag, we'll create the captions, we'll create the AI content that ranks, and I'll show you this in just a second. It will create all of those things, all of those inner links automatically. Look how many links are like on this page. This is epic. It's going to add a map with interactive map. Now, obviously, you're not going to add your client's address. You're just going to add an intersection near your clients, right? You don't want to show their address. And this is also going to create archive pages like city pages like this one. So I don't have to create like CD pages or location pages because I can use this. And look, it will archive and it will show all of the projects that I've done in Chandler, Arizona, just like that. And we have this map that shows everything all over. See, this will show all of this thing, all of my keywords. This is epic. This is super freaking powerful. When you are searching for this on Google, let's go to Google real quick. When you are searching for this, then you will see that this business is right here at the top, ranking number one for this keyword. What this means is that Google understands that we are relevant for this area, for this term, and this affects other things that push the overall ranking of the website, the overall ranking of your Google My Business. If you see a lot of the screenshots and different things that I share with successful SEO campaigns, this is our proprietary secret weapon. Uh, we don't really work on Americas. This is uh, kind of like for demo purposes. Uh, I don't have much uh, on this website, but I did want to show you this as a reference. And let's, let me show you how you can get this thing done on your own real quick with local Wiz app. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to go to your location. So the first thing that we have to do is to go to local Wiz uh, location. Just go in here, your location. If you already set it up, then it's going to show. If you haven't set it up, we have some other videos and we can also, you know, help you with you in a walkthrough to be able to set it up for you. Again, my account is a little different. I have some stuff that you might not see on your account. Uh, 
but let me show you how the projects will look like. So once you have it installed, you're going to go and you're going to start a new project. This is how it's going to look like. Don't overwhelm. It's super easy. We're going to do this thing together. Before I can proceed, let me come up with the projects. Let me uh, get some images. So hold on. All right. So I was able to find some uh, images uh, that I got from them. And you can kind of see, uh, I don't even know what they did here, to be honest. Something with a bathtub or hot tub. I'm not a plumber. Um, you probably would know better for your business. But based on the invoice that I found, I'm just going to use this. So based on the invoice, looks like master bath. No, that makes sense. That's kind of like what I found. And I'm going to give this the phrase. You can use this as your title if you wish. Uh, or you can use the AI that will generate some titles for you. I really like to have titles that also include the city in their name. Um, so I'm probably going to use this. This looks good. Updating the master bath faucet. This looks good. Instead of made easy, updating uh, faucet replacement. Maybe I'm going to do... Well, let me read some of those things. And I can get like more if I want to. So I can just click generate and it will refresh and it will get you some more. So let me see. Give me just a sec. I'm going to go with this one right here. All right. And I'm just going to add this. I'm going to do in because I want my keyword to be right there. San Tan Valley. All right. Let's do that. Hold on. I had to check that I don't have a typo here. I did. <laughs> All right. Cool. So now I got this. The next thing that I got to do is to generate the outline of this project. I can go in here and I can just click generate and this will generate the outline of the article for me just like that. Super fast, super easy. Now I'm going to generate my project. This will basically create the content that I'm going to have on my landing page, just like we showed right here. So th what this does right now, this creates all of that stuff right here. All right. Uh, this can take up to a minute usually. So you kind of want to give this thing um, a moment and there we go. So complete replacement, yeah, the introduction, look at this. It gives like kind of like, um, you know, what is needed? What do you need to do? It's a project. It's a story about how you did this project. Now, again, you can go in here, you can make changes, you can do whatever. You see, it's also adding Q and A. This is powerful. This is super powerful because nobody's adding this type of content. All right, the next step that I'm going to do, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to create a meta description. Super simple. I'm just going to create myself a meta description. This will do it for me. Meta description, it's that snippet that you see when you search. So I'm going to use this one, probably this. I can go in here. I can make changes if I would like to. Uh, this might be a little too long. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's a little bit too long. Um, so I'm probably going to remove. Um, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to do that. It's okay if it's a little bit too long. Um, Actually, let me let me run this again. Let's generate again. It's a little bit too long for me. And okay, so I'm just gonna go with this, and I'm gonna give this a little bit lift. I'm gonna add my uh, scent and valley into this. So hold on, give me a second. Let me just read all that stuff. All right. So I chose this. I made a few regenerate, and I found one that I like. Upgrade. Um, let's do kitchen and bathroom with our complete faucet replacement services in scent and valley. Um, so this is good. It's okay. It's a little too long. You can remove if you want um, or whatever it is that you like, but you can keep it like that. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to use this. I'm not going to use the, co the contentional URL. The next thing that I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a couple of categories. So this will be uh, plumbing services. And I also want to have another category for San, actually Scent and Valley. Let's do that. So I'm going to add this. So I have Scent and Valley and Plumbing Services. Then I'm going to find myself some keywords. I'm going to use some keywords from here. This will give me some suggestions. So bathroom, for sure. Plumbing updates, for sure. Upgrades, master bathroom fixtures, shower head replacement, all the stuff that I think that are relevant. Usually here I'll choose somewhere between two to five. That's kind of like where I'll go for. So let me get one more. Uh, do I'll do plumbing systems. All right, that's it. Now, the next step is you can also create a Google My Business. Uh, we're going to do this in just a sec. 
but the next step is to add a feature image. Just click here and add your image, and then we're going to add some gallery image. I'm going to do that as well. So after you click, you'll have a pop-up, and then you can choose. Um, none of those looks great, to be honest, but I'll just use this. All right. And then the next step that I'm going to do, I'm going to upload the gallery images. And as you see, this basically is uploading. Now, while this is uploading, I'm going to go back here and remember that we have the keyword. So let me find something that kind of makes sense. Sewer, plumbing inspection. Okay, I'm just, uh, let's just go for the plumber one. All right. So I kind of want to see where, okay, so I have bad rankings everywhere. So it really doesn't matter which address I'm going to go for. Where is Scent and Valley in here? So that's kind of like on this area. I'm just going to grab randomly this. But essentially, if my grid was showing like green and stuff like that, like for example, I wouldn't create the, I wouldn't do it like right here. I want to have an address that just shows red and it all looks like that, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to zoom in and I'm just going to find an address nearby. So I can click on this or uh, you know, I can click on items. And I'm just going to grab this. I'm not going to grab the number. I'm just going to grab the street. So this is Queen Creek. So I don't want that. See how the cities are so overlapping on this. Um, let's try to go in here. Sant and Valley. Beautiful. So I'm just going to grab this. Copy. And I'm going to add this here. So this will geotag all of my photos to this location, meaning it's going to inject the data uh, to those images, including the keywords and all that stuff. And you can kind of see like where it's at and all those good things. Uh, you can choose an icon. I'm just going to use this. You can upload your own. You can choose colors. You can do a bunch of other stuff here. The sidebar, we do have some videos on how to set up the sidebar. So look into that. Once you set it up, it's set and forget. But essentially, we use this to inject even more data in, uh, into this. Look, um, and that's pretty much it. This is all I have to do. I'm done. The next step, I'm going to go. I'm going to create save. So it's going to publish this live. So I'm going to do save. We're going to wait a little bit. It's processing, optimizing, and it's going to upload everything. There you go. So it tells us kind of like what it does. So we kind of know what's going on. And in just a moment, we'll be able to click on preview. This process can take up to three minutes, usually less, but it really depends on a lot of like the images and stuff like that. If it's really heavy and it has to optimize like a bunch of them. So. It's going to take just a sec. I'll pause this and I'll be right back. That's fine. It took like a second and just saved. <laughs> Change your save. I, I didn't even have enough time to pause. All right. Let's take a look and see what we did. Beautiful. So watch this. So now I have this beautiful article with this beautiful address. All right. This is basically the address of this project. So look how many keywords I have in here. That's nuts. And I have all of this project here. I got my introduction, I got all of this stuff here, um, I got the gallery, and there's different themes and different things that you can do with it. So there's like so many things. And then you can add or remove the comments. You can also add the map, like the map that I had in the other uh, example that I showed you. And there is basically some, uh, some settings that you can add to this. Uh, go to the settings and you can also like work on the project settings and you can add different elements and a bunch of other stuff but that's a video for another so you can see like there's more things that you can add and there's like a bunch of functions and features and yada 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 and really cool stuff that we can do uh, but this is just on the tip of the iceberg how you can start creating content that google loves and will push your website rankings this is it this is the way to do it all right all you got to do is create um, some of those projects consistently I recommend to do about, I want to say two to five projects a week until you get to about 40. Once you get to 40 or so, then you can just do it once a week. It's more of a maintenance at that point versus instead of pushing it. Um, so it's super important. Another thing that you want to make sure is that you have those pages indexed. So you want to make sure that you update your, uh, your sitemap in Google Search Console. If you need some help, let me know. We can create a video about that. That's not a problem. But essentially, this is how you do it. The next step is to enhance it. And I can keep enhancing this thing like crazy. So for example, I can take all of my images and I can create a video about that with a voiceover and all that good stuff. Everything can be done with an AI today. Um, and then I can upload it to YouTube and then I can link this back to this. 
crazy. And you just like link everything together. I can create Google My, Google My Business post, so I can go back in here and I can look at my projects. I see that I have a score that is a little low. You can click on this, can see what the suggestions are. Uh, but let's say that I wanna go into this again. Sorry, let's just edit. And I wanna create a Google My Business post, all right? So I'll go in here and where is my thingy? All right, this is my post I'm gonna generate. And then the way I'm going to go about it is I'm gonna to go to the local dominator with this thing. And so this is essentially what I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go here. I'm not connected to this here, but assuming you are, all right? You're gonna have the business here. This is a different demo business. And I'll go to posts and I'm gonna create a post. I'm gonna add this thing here. You can also use the AI here. And then I'm gonna link this. So I'm gonna go in here. Uh, where is my thingy? Hold on, where's my preview? So I'm gonna grab the link and I'm gonna add this thing right here. Probably I won't use the keywords. I'm just gonna put it like that. And then I can do this thing as I'll learn more. I'll add my link here again. I'll add like an image, one of the images from the Google My Business. I'll schedule this to one or even schedule this to repeat. You know, maybe I wanna have this posted every, one, every month and that's it. This ties everything together. Now you have a Google My Post about it. Now you have a really cool article to describe the work that you have done literally to create this article without all this long explanation that I did today. Once you get the rhythm, it's going to take you three minutes to do. You can do this thing on your phone, on the go, whatever it is. It takes just a couple of minutes to do. So it's super freaking fast to be able to do that. And once you create a bunch of them, this will tell Google that your business is relevant for this industry, for whatever keywords you're looking to rank for, and for the area that you're looking. This is two birds at one. I can't even stress how powerful this thing is. And obviously there are more things you can do with local whiz. There is, um, you can also create like a regular articles. You can create articles, you can schedule the articles, blog posting, all of those things uh, you can do directly from here. Super powerful. And there is a bunch of other stuff in the program that will go into different videos. I'm gonna share with you some checklists. I'm gonna share with you how we can optimize the homepage because if we have a website here, we gotta figure out is this website really optimized to whatever we want to do. So we're gonna talk about those in some of the next videos as well. All you have to do is to follow the program, follow the stuff that I showed you, and you're gonna dominate Google. Apply all those things and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.